really like the way uh, TC Tactical packaged this item. Uh, I guess depending on where you get yours, the packaging could be different. But uh, you had these uh, these nice spacers in there, and uh, you know, this came all sealed up uh, with a uh, you know if that's been sealed, been broken all the way around. Uh, don't open it. And uh, just what the extra mile looks like to uh, to send this out. This is exactly what comes with it. You, of course, the uh, the case here. Um, as long as you pop it out from just one end, uh, you won't even have to break the seal over here. Just in case you decided you wanted to, uh, you know, put this back in there and maybe uh, sell it or resell it or whatever, uh, you would be able to uh, preserve this case quite easily. And uh, of course, the stock itself. We'll look at that really close. Uh, of course, the. Uh, five that comes with it, five round magazine. Here are your instructions and here are tools and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of parts here so that's a good news for me. Okay for those of you who haven't seen my review on the Mosin Nagon 9130 you can check that on YouTube. Uh, this is just a, uh, a hexagonal receiver model that I found. Uh, all the serial numbers match up and uh, this one was actually sniper tested. Uh, it was approved uh, the markings show that, but uh, it never was actually uh, used as a sniper rifle. But uh, don't worry, for all you uh, serious collectors out there, I will not be throwing away any of the parts, and uh, I will be able to uh, to put this back without any damage to it. Uh, otherwise, I would never have uh, purchased the stock. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the quality of this stock. I mean, for the price. I was absolutely shocked. I mean, what, as soon as I saw the thing in the actual box, I could see, um, you know, how heavy duty made this was. I mean, it shocked me. I mean, I'd seen reviews on YouTube, uh, but it just didn't occur to me how well this thing was going to be made. Very tastefully, too. I mean, like, there's no huge archangel thing on it. I mean, you have to actually get down there and look. Uh, it's just very finely. Uh, put into the uh, the print of it uh, from a ways back you wouldn't even see that um, I, I noticed something else too here is a American flag of course it is made in the USA as I said um, I really just like the uh, the craftsmanship of this I mean every piece of it is is very very heavy duty uh, quality um, stock it, I mean I guess I shouldn't be surprised um, but uh, I pleasantly was. I was very impressed with the, uh, you know, the uh, controls to uh, to adjust the stock. Uh, of course, it has, uh, you know, the cheek rest and butt stock that are uh, um, um, able to adjust. And if you notice, you, you can't just do it with one hand. It's not that it's difficult. It's just you need to be holding this, and it uh, very firmly. There, I can actually do it. See here, click into place very sturdy. I mean this isn't just something where you could bump it up against something and and that would uh, knock out of place. And I mean I'm sure those of you who are used to uh, you know quality stocks uh, this is what you'd see. Uh, for this price point though I was just really surprised at uh, how well it was made. You know I figured uh, because they were the first ones to come out with this uh, you know, detachable magazine that uh, this thing would be just kind of thrown together quick and uh, wouldn't have all the, the bells and whistles and uh, be well made, but uh, I was wrong. I mean, I, I can't believe it. I actually put off getting this, I let them get the bugs out on the, uh, the black ones, and um, I believe they have those issues solved. They're just some very small issues. Uh, an Archangel was uh, definitely good enough to take care of that for everybody. Um, but I'm um, hoping this one uh, will work out really good. We'll see. But uh, like I say, I'm really impressed with uh, how everything's made. I like the little compartment here uh, that Archangel's put into it. Uh, I'll just show you that. It's uh, very well made as well. And you've got a decent amount of space in there. I mean, so I can get my... Okay, there's a, of course a two-step process, and that's uh, uh, disassembling your Mosin Nagant, which if you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link up to a really good YouTube video I found uh, of how to do that. Very easy. Um, and then uh, I'll put another link up to uh, how to reassemble it 
Uh, another one that I found that was really good. Now it comes with instructions and you could follow those. I'm not saying you couldn't. Uh, they're very well laid out instructions but if you're like me you're probably going to have a little easier time with a video. Uh, now I will point out that if you really want to preserve these as I did um, you will have to uh, remove this front sight. Uh, that's a little bit difficult but uh, it is, ex is, is explained in the second video I will show you. I thought I'd show you uh, some of the little parts that came with this. Uh, you have two bolts just like this. This is actually the ones I removed from my Mosin, uh, but they look identical to that. I've already put mine in here. Uh, they fit this uh, this hex wrench. Um, this is, if you want to put a swivel, um, you'd actually have to drill this uh, to put this in. But it was nice of them to include this. Uh, you could uh, also get a bipod that would fit on uh, that style thing if you wanted a bipod. Uh, this, if your uh, free floating barrel system doesn't work, uh, this can be installed um, up here. Um, of course, you have to remove everything. But um, this is a spacer, I believe, for a different uh, model than I have. And of course, that is your wrench that comes along with it. I should add there's one little part that uh, I didn't go over, and that is this little uh, insert here. If you don't have a Timney trigger, which I do not, uh, you'll need to slide that down there before you install this. <laughs> I made the mistake of putting it all together and then I've got this insert here. So I had to take it all back apart, which it's not very difficult to do. Uh, the assembly process is uh, pretty simple. Trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Just be careful and of course if you don't trust yourself and uh, you ever feel uncomfortable, make sure you go to a gunsmith. I'm just by no means an expert. Don't take my advice. Okay, we have the finished product. Let's get a good look at it. And we'll get the other side. Like I say, I am absolutely 100% satisfied. It's absolutely exactly what I was hoping this gun would, how this gun would turn out. Something else I picked up at TC Tactical. And that is these 10 round magazines. I think uh, this gun would almost be naked without having at least one of these babies. But I'll show you a close up of the, uh, the 10 round magazines compared to the 5 that comes with it. Um, you can get this on TNC Tactical. And now you can see what it looks like with the 10 round magazine loaded in it. And it looks to me like this is how I will be leaving it, uh, this 5 rounder. I'll probably load it up for just in case uh, purposes, but uh, I like the looks of that tin. I couldn't resist showing off my uh, little uh, Mossberg 500 creation here. Uh, uh, Shockwave Technologies Raptor Grip. If you haven't seen that uh, review, I highly uh, recommend you check that out. But uh, it really made a nice, I don't know what the, how well the lighting you can get here, but it really made a nice uh, match here. Of course, this is uh, actually Duracoat. Uh, I Duracoat this. This is my very first Duracoat project. And if you prefer the bayonet look, I just want to show you what that would look like. <laughs> 